Hello, this is a video on congruence using rigid motions. We're going to be using reflections, rotations, and translations to demonstrate congruence. In the Common Core State Standards for Mathematics, students are to think about congruence using rigid motions. In 8th grade and in high school geometry, there's a similar expectation. Given two triangles or two figures, describe a sequence that, that exhibits the congruence between them. Today I'm going to be demonstrating this with GeoGebra. Here I have two triangles that appear to be congruent. What I'd like to do is set up a series of transformations that pass one triangle on top of the other. And I think I'm going to try to move tr the blue triangle on top of the red triangle. The first thing I need to do is label my triangles so that I can talk about them. So I'm going to start here by making a polygon with GeoGebra. And I'm going to call this triangle ABC. I'm also going to label the red triangle. This is triangle RST. First of all, I'm going to look at the orientation. In this triangle, I have ABC. As I go around the triangle, I see that ABC is counterclockwise. The angle corresponding to angle A will be the larger of the um, acute angles here, R. S looks like it might be a right angle, and T is my small acute angle. When I go RST, it is also going counterclockwise around the figure. So the orientation is not changed. I probably do not need to use a reflection. I could use a reflection um, as long as I used two reflections to get the orientation back on track. There are going to be a number of different ways that I could transform these triangles. I think I'm going to start by translating. And I want to translate so that point A matches up with point R that will fix one of my points. So let's find the translation tool. The translation tool in GeoGebra is right here. Translate an object by a vector. And the first thing you do is click your object, then the vector. So I'm going to translate this polygon. And then I'm going to translate the vector from A to point R. So now I have my translated triangle. The translated triangle is triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. A prime and R are the same point. Now I'm going to want to rotate around point A prime so that B prime will match up with S. First thing I need to do is create an angle. So I'm going to do my angle tool. Right here is the angle measurement tool. And I have angle alpha here. Let me move the label out here. It's angle alpha. It happens to be 77.7 .7 degrees. That's not important. But that's the angle that I'm going to rotate this polygon in order to get it on top of this polygon. My rotation tool is right here. I'm going to rotate an object around a point by an angle. And I need to select the object to rotate, then the center point, then the angle. So my object to rotate is going to be my polygon. My center of rotation is going to be A prime, which is also R. That point is going to be fixed. And finally, I'm going to rotate clockwise by an angle of alpha. And you'll notice that it has rotated properly. Let me adjust the labels. We can see now that the final triangle is A double prime, B double prime, C double prime. And it does match up with the triangle that I wanted to match up with. So my first transformation was a translation using vector A to R. My second transformation was a rotation clockwise 
from B prime to R to S. Have a great day.